I think when people talk about like the immigration or like the deported veterans, like they, they just focus on Mexicans. It's not just Mexicans. Oh. Uh, you can You're go on to YouTube, uh, yeah, yeah. Facebook. It, 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 it happens like uh, Haitians, Jamaicans, uh, Central America, South Europeans. America. Europeans. Like, I know, I know Polish undocumented people. I know Russian undocumented people, you know? Yeah, and, and like I said, in regards to like that for like the veterans, yes, like it, it sucks. I I support it. Uh, like I said, they they have the housing in Tijuana. They have the housing in Baja California. I mean in Juarez. And not too long ago, uh, an army veteran actually won the case where he did get his citizenship, and he didn't. He was not receiving any benefits through like the Veterans Association or administration. And now he got a he got back pay. Took all that money bought land in in Tecate for veterans to live there now. That's how you do it, man. That's how you do it. You create wealth, man. That's the other thing, like, you know, um, you, you, I don't know. I was just reading something about the, this is off topic, but the NBA, you know, they have these, like, Black Lives Matter under jerseys and stuff like that. But one's called, um, what is it called? Group economics, right? And the idea of group economics is that Latinos have to, Latinos, black people, we got to pool our money. Instead of spending it and giving it to the system, giving it back to the system, pool our money. Start Latino businesses. Support Latino businesses. Keep it in the community, right? And that's how you build not only wealth, because, you know, that's important, but money is power. And if Latinos want political power, they need economic power. And so group I, it's called group economics. Absolutely. And, and going back to, like, our childhood, for example, we have like we grew up with so many people that have gotten out of the hood, yeah, out of the system. Isn't whatever. That weird? Like, Do you think that that's weird, isn't it? And I, it is, it is, it really is. But the things I, I I will say this, and like even like I I would say to a point, I am at fault for that. Like, but we don't go back to where we grew up and give back. And Latinos, like the moment that we make it, we don't go back. We don't look back and go and give to where we're where we grew up. Or where we came from, for example, we'll take we'll take Piper, such a, such a big community. Why why is Piper continuously still the same way that it was twenty years ago? Yeah, and you know people have gotten on Piper and they're now doing great. They're now Absolutely. doing amazing. So I th- I think a lot of us we have to go back and like create something for that community to in order for it to like prosper and like people to see bigger and better things. Like there are bigger and better things outside of Prospect or Piper. Yeah. You see planes in and out every day. Yeah. They fly over you. So why why can't people from there get on that plane and go see somewhere else? Two things about that. One, that's exactly what T.I. and Killer Mike are talking about. They're like, you know, they, they, they're they rich now, right? And they went back to Atlanta. They went back to their old hood. They're opening up car washes, grocery stores, yada, 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 right? Bring it back. Bring it back. And I, I, you know, that's true, right? Like me, you know, I was born in Humble Park. Maybe I should go back to Humble Park, right? Not give it to the gentrifiers or go back to Wheeling. Not give it, you know, not keep it. Because there's, there's kids like us still there now. Hopeless, yeah. just as hopeless as we were. And thinking, how am I going to get out of here? And if, and if we had seen somebody come back and be like, hey, you know, I'm this, this, and this. You can do it too. I'm going to start a business here. That's, you know, that's what we should do. And... And, um, I mean, that's what we should do. I feel it just gave me a fucking stab in the heart because that's what we should do. But two, you know, then take that, take that idea further. We're, 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 we're not from here. You know, we're first generation, second generation, third generation. Then are we supposed to go back to Mexico and go back to, or go back to Honduras, go back to Puerto Rico? Cause you know, our families left those places cause they're, they're just like Piper, but a country. <laughs> Yeah. You know, so should we go back to Mexico and, and take our money, take our skills, take our talent that we've gained here in the United States and yeah. go back and lift up our countries, our home countries, our patrias? Well, I, I think now, like, just for someone that has been going back to Mexico a lot, mm. it, um, and just just in December, I traveled from all the way from northern Mexico all the way down to south. So I went from Chihuahua all the way to, to Michoacan. And just going through every state, uh, towns that I visit, I think more and more people are leaving, like, 
the ranchos or the rural areas for the city. And Mexico is progressively changing a lot. And when people talk about opportunities, I think those, those people are starting to see it because now we have more relatives in the United States or we were able to send money back. So now they're getting out of those situations where, where certain people can actually start moving to the cities and their, their kids can start going to schools, universities. So when people like, I talk about Mexico, it's just like, they some somehow they still have that image in their the mind. The rancho. The rancho. And it's not like that. It's it's definitely not like that. You you go to a border town like Tijuana, it's just like there's it's bicultural. Um is there poverty? Yes, there's poverty, but a there's lot poverty of people, in Chicago, <laughs> you know? Absolutely. But I'm saying like a lot of people somehow make it. Somehow you you talk to people, they're like, Oh, tengo licenciatura in this, or I have a degree in this, I have whatever. But yes, yeah, like they make it. Eventually they make it. And it, it, it just takes a little bit to give back, and then you get out of that situation. 